and welcome to This Is. Guess what? That PC that you've been eyeing that you want to build that you can't because the components are all gone and you can't get it and so you're trying to pay scalper prices. Well, now... It's worse. <laughs> it's worse. It's so much worse. So here's the thing, right? 2021 is already shaping up to be a very rough year for all kinds of stuff, right? I mean, PlayStations are sold out, Xboxes are sold out, graphics cards, CPUs. It's hard to get your hands on a lot of these hot tech items. But the big issue now is that things specifically, including motherboards, graphics cards, and a lot of PC components are now subject to a tariff. Now, if you were paying attention in economics class, you'd know exactly what that is. But Matt, I don't pay attention in any class. What happens with a tariff? Okay. What a tariff is, is a tax between countries. So goods coming from country A are then under a tariff, so they pay a tax to country B. So here's the deal. Here's what actually matters if you are going to be purchasing a gaming PC or a PC of any kind over the next, yeah. well, indeterminate amount of time. There is a 7.5 to 20% tariff. 25%. 25? Yes. Matt, why are you so, okay, fine, 25%. I'm not even, I'm not making that up. It's 7.5 7. 7. 25%. Yeah. Now this is not necessarily, although most likely going to be passed on to you. So I saw this on Reddit a lot. A lot of people were saying that basically companies were scalping themselves and they sneakily raised the MSRPs and everyone was blaming it. Yeah. But what it actually is, is this tariff increase, which went into effect January 1st. So they're essentially now paying this seven to 25% more to bring the product in, right? So as they import it from China, they're paying that to get it out of customs. So while they may have before not paid much or paid very little, this is a direct cost to the company. Yes. And obviously, everyone wants graphics cards, they're gonna turn around and pass on most, if not all of that, to you, the consumer. Which does make sense, that is the way tariffs work. Right. Tariffs are applied to a wide Almost variety of everything. products. Yeah. So the most famous example of, of tariffs, tariffs in electronics is with digital cameras. Yeah. So you'll notice with a lot of like DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, they might be limited to a 30 minute or 29 minute 50 and 59 second uh, record limit. That's because a digital still camera yeah. was t uh, tariffed differently than a video camera. There's all it's, kinds of stuff like that. So when we talk about that there's the range is from seven and a half to 25, uh, to 25%, yeah. it's hard to tell what is gonna be what because there's so many different variables in that which get very, very complicated there very like quickly. There's thousands of pages in the tariff yeah. like guidebook. It, like it's ridiculous. It might be like, it could be something as, as nuanced as it's 25% if they use X amount of rare metal. And but what we do know is that some components are already going up in price, yes. right? So we've already seen over the last few days, certain components start to inch up in MSRP, which to be fair, like sometimes you see fluctuations, but Asus has actually come out and basically said, hey, look, this is what's going on. We are raising the prices of these products because this is just costing us more, right? That is just straight yes. up happening. We know that they're being at least upfront about it. Other companies are probably sliding in, but all of this is compounding a much larger issue which is look I love to build myself computers and do videos and all this kind of tech but I the other day literally yesterday I had to pay $150 over MSRP to get my hands on a Ryzen processor because I need it for a build and I have no other option right now yep. to be fair this is something that will affect many PC components, generally not CPUs, right? Other products like graphics cards, like motherboards, these things are going to go up in price and they're gonna stay up in price unless something changes. And it's gonna be especially noticeable on a graphics card because look, you might not notice a case that's gonna be two, three, five dollars more expensive or some RAM that might be $10 more expensive or even a motherboard that might be $20 more expensive. But if you're buying a $500 graphics card that suddenly turns into six, $650, which to be fair, a little bit of a worst case scenario, but still, you talk yeah. about 15-20% is a lot on these expensive I mean, components. I mean, I feel like it's it's conservatively safe to just assume that if you can get your components at MSRP, it's gonna cost you about 10 to 15 percent overall more than what you were gonna pay. The 25 percent I think is a very extreme It's I, hard to say though, man. Yeah, we, don't it, it, we don't know. We don't we right, and, and unless you're gonna read through, like you said, thousands of pages yeah. of tariff documents, which I know I'm not, <laughs> like it's you thought really... you were gonna do research for this video. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, there's there's research and then there's going insane. Well, also, we, it's hard to know from the outside because different things, again, like you were saying, yeah. are tariffed at different rates. So basically, the gist of this is, 
2020 was already a great year for PC components and gaming components, but not a great year to get your hands on it. Guess what? While yes, stock may be getting better over the next few months as more and more people are able to get their hands on their RTX cards and their RX 6000 series cards and the Ryzen processors and all that kind of stuff. The problem is these tariffs are gonna come in in a big way. What's ultimately gonna happen, in my opinion, is you're gonna notice that that $500 car is 550 or 600. You're gonna notice all these sort of small and up to large sort of pricing things. They're gonna kind of start inching up. Where you're really gonna notice it though is when you go to check out with your final build, right? Yeah. And you may look at a system that used to be $1,100, $1,200 and now is $1,300, $1,400, $1,500, right? We don't know how much it is. Maybe $300 is gonna be a little bit more than what's actually gonna happen. But all of these little things and medium things are going to add up. So it's gonna be very difficult to get around. Let me ask you this. Okay, go for it. Do you think any of this matters right now? now no because you can't buy this stuff right I'm, I'm buying <laughs> processors on ebay because i need them and i can't get my hands on them literally anywhere else so that that and that's the thing is that the scalper market yeah doesn't operate the same way as the regular market with yep. tariffs and things like that they've already bought those graphics cards and they're already selling them for more than msrp they're not looking at those and be like oh msrp went up 50 bucks let's raise our price 50 bucks. They're raising their price based on supply and demand. Yeah. So they're gonna, they're, regardless of of like what the, the MSRP is, they're gonna sell those graphics cards at the most that they can sell, period. Whatever people are buying it at, that's what they price them at. Over time, I think everyone's gonna get used to this, right? Who knows if it stays or goes, right? These are things that are constantly through political well, machinery or kind of coming and going, but basically, when you see that next series of graphics cards come out or whatever, they might be a little bit more expensive and we're kinda kinda get used to it, right? But right now, there's gonna be a little bit of sticker shock for things that, oh, finally it's coming down to MSRP. Oh, this thing's launching at 300. Oh, wait, it's launching at 350 now, right? Oh, it's launching at 400, 500. Like, everything's gonna start inching up. And, and 10%, 15%, these are big numbers. They are, but we have to remember that this is not unprecedented. It's not, no. we've been through this. Yep. We've gotten over this. Yep. The PC building market, especially fluctuate so often you know uh how many years ago was it we had the the um tsunami in japan that ram prices skyrocketed yeah. because there was no stuff. there was no demand i mean there was no supply of of ram prices guess what's also happening again right now ethereum is up big ethereum's up yeah. bitcoin is is that 30 something thousand I think as it, of recording i think this it video? peaked at like 35 34 or something like yeah, that it's yeah ridiculous numbers yeah. so that's causing all these people to reinvest in in new mining systems using yeah. any gpu that they can get their hands on which to be fair series. i do i'm not an expert in this situation i do think it is still not massively cost effective to buy graphics cards to mine a lot of crypto so i don't foresee you I should not do it. it yeah i mean it, it might make sense if you're long term i don't think it's quite as lucrative as back in the earlier days in 2017 where you could go out and spend $300 on a graphics card and it would turn around and make you $300 within a month of yeah, profit, right? Like that's not quite but, happening, but there's still, it's, it's not good. But people see the see these huge numbers now and they're like, oh wait, I remember when this happened, I didn't do it last time. Yeah. Quick panic buy all these things to do it this time. Mm -hmm. And that's just, it's all compounding because again, supply was already low for these these uh, products just yeah. due to everything else. Yeah. So it's just this, this perfect storm of you can't get the components, mm -hmm. but then they're just gonna cost you more. And we don't know how long that's gonna last. It's hard to say, it really is, because these things do come and go. Some tariffs last for decades. I wanna know is, like you say, it's maybe a, a company goes and they move their entire operation to Thailand, Indonesia, sure. wh wherever they can. Yeah around these tariffs yeah but that that's a huge investment huge like billions supply chains yeah building factories moving stuff over massive investment so massive. how you know which then that has to be recovered so how long before that that price comes down well the manufacturers of graphics cards have a say in the msrp generally speaking it's amd and nvidia who say hey look this is our new graphics card it costs 500 dollars. if you want to charge more for your custom cooler cool yeah. whatever but usually they're the ones who set the main price so if 80 percent of the graphics card manufacturers are subject to this tariff guess what nvidia is probably gonna go oh, okay you know what it's gonna be 600 dollars, and everyone's just gonna make more money if you're outside of it like it's a messy situation, but I think the real gist of it is this. If you are buying or building a new gaming PC 
it is going to be more expensive this year. Not only are you likely gonna have to pay scalpers if you want it right now, or you're gonna have to wait in line, but even if that's not the case, even if tomorrow supply appears everywhere and everything is right with the world, you are now going to pay seven, 10, 15, maybe even as high as 20 or 25% more for some of the major expensive components, which is unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this very cheerful episode of This Is. Make sure to subscribe, and if you're interested in more about tariffs because you're a nerd, feel free to check out our episode that we did all about the tariff situation, and Matt tells a happy little story about the chicken tax on the long, long time ago when we made This Is videos that were actually good. Yeah, I hosted that one, didn't I? You, you kicked me off the camera. And that's posted. right, because I was the nerd for that one. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go play my 2080 Ti.